हेलो गाइस वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू लॉगरी हाउ यू ऑल डूइंग आई होप ऑल्सो डूइंग ग्रेट ऑल्सो फाइन एंड सेफ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर क्लास ट्वेंटी एज अ ड्रॉपर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ डेली रूटीन अ डेली रूटीन व्हाट यू शुड डू ऑन डेली बेसिस दैट यू आर एबल टू क्लियर क्लैट हाउ यू कैन बी श्योर दैट यू नो इफ यू डू दिस यू विल क्लियर क्लैट दैट काइंड ऑफ रूटीन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू एंड अ कम्प्लीट स्ट्रैटेजी दिस कम्प्लीट स्ट्रैटेजी इंक्लूड्स एवरीथिंग मिस्टेक्स दैट नॉर्मली ड्रॉपर्स कमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड दैट हाउ यू शुड अप्रोच योर यू नो your preparation from zero i'm also going to provide you a day to day schedule the schedule is very very important how to manage time we are going to discuss time management so this video is a complete guide for droppers theek hai na to iske andar hum sab kuch discuss karenge jo ek dropper ko pata hona chahiye अगर आप चाहते हो कि आप एक सक्सेसफुल ड्रॉपर बनो कि नेक्स्ट टाइम लाइक क्लास ट्वेंटी फॉर श्योर यू गेट इन टू एन एन एल यू देन दिस इज अडियो दैट यू मस्ट वॉच लेट गेट स्टार्टेड विथ टूडे सेशन क्या गाइज वेलकम टू लॉगेरी आई होप यू सब्सक्राइब टू लॉगेरीज यूट्यूब चैनल एंड हिट दैट बेल नोटिफिकेशन सो दैट यू डू नॉट मिस एनी ऑफ आर वीडियोज and i hope you're following us on instagram we're there by the name at i am lockery we do pretty motivational stuff out there if you want to stay happy if you want to stay motivated and if you want to stay connected a little more with lockery then do follow us on instagram step 1 is analyzing clat 2022 attempt it is very important that you analyze clat 2022 attempt what really went wrong why why you were not able to clear the exam so it cannot be one answer no it, this should be a detailed analysis you should sit with the paper and your omr sheet for good 2 to 3 hours and you should be able to decide that okay this is the list okay these are my mistakes why you need to know your mistakes so that you don't commit those mistakes again in 2023 what is the use if you commit the same mistakes at least those mistakes that you committed in class 2022 should not be committed in 2023 this is the most important thing right so overall score in class section wise score in class this is very important which sections which topics you are strong in so that one you you can start your preparation this way that okay i'm strong in these topics 10 days i'm going to complete these topics and then i'm going to move on to the weaker topics something of that sort right maybe you are like okay find one slot to my weak topics you know from day one of my preparation i'm going to work on my weak topics and keep on covering the other topics side by side so you should know that okay this is my strength this is my weakness and i have to work on it right when you are taking drop please mark my words it is very important that you don't leave any subject if as a dropper you are leaving any section that's not a great thing you have to attempt all the sections you have to prepare you have to study all the subjects all the topics yes okay sab kuch pad kar jana hai agar aap ek dropper ho aur aapko apni galtiyan pata rehni chahiye taki aap usko dobara repeat nahi karo right then you need to know about your uh, topics that you had left out completely yes there are going to be such topics but now you cannot leave anything you have to cover each and every topic right where was the mistake committed now this is very very important to know that where was the mistake committed at which level at which stage now information with regard to information do you think that the topics that you covered were not the right topics so there were some topics that you should have covered and you did not cover it means uh, there was some mistake with regard to the syllabus for syllabus i've already done a video you can i have le- i'll leave a link in the description box you can check that out with regard to books the study material that you were following was not right was the mistake with regard to this or the mistake was with regard to planning you were not able to create you were not having any monthly deadlines or there was no weekly schedule that you were to follow or there was no daily schedule so the problem was with regard to planning okay this is very very important to have a plan because if you have a plan if you know that these are the stages that i have to cross to clear clat one thing i'm going to tell you is you you are not going to waste time a lot of you come back to me and tell me that we don't feel like studying if you do the right planning right you'll know what all you have to cover for for clat you won't waste time because the planning is the motivation mark my words okay to agar aap ek achhi planning karoge na to aapko pata hai ki mujhe itna sab kuch cover karna hai aur ye ye sab kuch karna hai apni preparation mein to aap time waste nahi karoge okay was a mistake with regard to preparation the stage one of the preparation is completing the syllabus now when it comes to completing the syllabus you are going to read things you are going to understand things 
right and then you're going to practice and then you're also going to make notes in the books itself so yeah what was the problem was it with regard to the preparation you were not able to complete the syllabus you you had no notes or you you had not done in, enough practice because there are a lot of students what they do is either they just read the theoretical part okay and they don't practice or they just practice and practice they don't read the theoretical part so you have to do everything you should have made notes also in the books so that you can revise revision is very very important till till the time you're going to give the exam you need to make sure that you've revised everything four to five times this is the minimum right the next thing is mock test time management so if you 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 know you did your stage one very nicely you prepared you completed the syllabus made notes practice did your revision one time revision wherein in 10 to 15 days you were able to cover everything then you started with your mock test that is uh, or time management right now in mock test while you were solving mock test you did not analyze the mock test you did not work on time management negative marking sequence or order of sections handling panic so now negative marking sequence or order of uh, of sections handling panic this could have been a problem that you might have faced while you were there in the exam during the exam also you could have faced this problem राइट नो लॉट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर गोइंग टू टेल दैट दी क्या हुआ था एग्जाम में मुझे पैनिक हो गया था फोबिया हो गया था I I was not I was in a shock okay so the problem is uh, that you had not practiced enough right you were not prepared for it basically you had not given so many mocks that you were okay with giving the exam you were not ready for the day because you have not taken mock test this could also be your problem right so i hope uh, by now you have a list that okay these these uh, are the problems that i'm having and obviously you will have solutions for it also let me discuss if you have problem with uh, let me change the color of the pen if you have problem with regard to syllabus or books i've already done videos i'll leave the link in the description box with regard to planning in this video itself we are going to talk about planning and i've also done a video with regard to how to create a schedule so you can watch that also with regard to preparation again my videos are going to help you that what are the stages how you have to prepare and everything with regard to revision again time management that you have to revise the syllabus again and again mock test so this all of this is covered in my videos and in today's video we're going to talk about that how you have to make sure that uh, you are able to a uh, you know reach each and every stage that is you reach a stage wherein you are attempting mock test you are done with your syllabus you're working on time management you are handling negative marking number one aim is this and number two is that you don't commit the mistakes right so yeah another problem could have been that okay you did everything but the problem was that you think that the paper was too lengthy and you were not able to complete the paper okay or you think that the paper was too difficult because there were words of which you never knew the meaning okay ki paper bahut lengthy tha theek hai khatam nahi ho paya difficult words use kare hue the to uske liye or there were things that you were not able to understand there were passages that were just going above your head okay that means that you have to work on three skills number one skill is reading speed you need to have good reading speed if you want to complete the paper of clat and good reading speed is not only going to help you in the reading comprehension section in your english section it is going to help you with your legal app legal reasoning it is going to help you with your maths current affairs logical every section it is going to help you with every section word list from newspaper now if you thought ki usme words the jiska meaning mujhe nahi pata tha iska matlab vocabulary week hai to vocabulary kaun si cover karni hai you have to you have to pick up words from the newspaper in my session on exam i if you don't know i take daily current affairs live session of the hindu from 6 pm to 7 pm if you are not free from 6 pm to 7 pm you can hear the session you can watch the session the next day or whenever you have time please 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 do watch the session this is very important for clat so i do give you the words okay these are the new words that i could find and this is the meaning okay so this word list is very very important because in your clat exam the passages are from journalistic sources newspapers magazines so if you cover your vocabulary from newspaper that is going to help awareness general awareness this is very important general awareness now if you read the newspaper you are or you if you are attending my session and you are reading the newspaper as well what is going to help is the general awareness of basic topics they might not be very popular topics then they might not be the most important topics but some topics are talked about again and again in the newspaper for example cryptocurrency for example capital punishment 
So if you're reading the newspaper, so you will know that the, what the passage is around, right? So this is what is also required. Maybe you knew everything, but the problem was reading speed. Maybe, and if reading speed is actually a problem and you are a dropper, I'm going to give you a tip here. You can start reading Indian um, India Today. Okay, you can start reading the India Today magazine. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you that start reading novels. I'm not going to suggest you because novel is something that is of your choice. India Today is something that is going to give you news that is not of your choice. I mean, in CLAT also, you don't have choice that, okay, is there any choice that you can attempt this passage or that? No, you have to attempt everything, right? So, India Today, you can start reading India Today for speed. And whenever you come across a new word, read that word, note it down in your notebook, make sure you find out the meaning, go through these word lists again and again that you have created. This is going to help you. Okay, so you read India Today not for current affairs. Obviously, it is going to add to your knowledge for sure. But the purpose here is to increase your reading speed. If you can take out time, read India Today for one hour every day. This is going to help you a lot. Write down in your planner what went wrong. Problem can be in all stages. You might not have reached a stage. This can also be a problem that you were not able to complete the syllabus or you, were, you never revised or you never attempted mock tests. This could be a problem right so now you have to make sure that you complete the syllabus right so your biggest aim should be completing the syllabus obviously we're going to talk about it in the video study schedule for a full-fledged dropper okay so if you have taken drop and you are to only prepare for CLAT for the next five months of course sirf or sirf CLAT ke liye prepare karna aapko kuch aur nahi karna abhi aane wale five months mein then this is the schedule that you need to follow two hours two hours two hours two hours two hours equals to ten hours Okay, this is the minimum time that you have to give to your CLAT preparation and this is the self-study time. If you have joined any coaching or anything of that sort, that is not included here. Okay, now what you need to do, two hours you have to divide, micromanage your two hours also, 45 minutes study, then you take a 10 minute break. Okay, then you study for 10, uh, 45 minutes, okay, then you take a 10 minute break. And then you again study for 30 to 45 minutes and then you rest for say, 30 minutes and then you start with your slot number two okay this is what you have to do so the first slot or any slot in the day is going to be your current affairs slot now in your current affairs slot because current affairs is something that you have to study every day for sure in your current affairs slot what you are going to do newspaper analysis class exam is 6 to 7 exam is my channel and i teach you current affairs the hindu newspaper analysis every day happens on exam is 6 to 7 if you are not free from 6 to 7 pm in the evening you can watch the class later on also it is there on the youtube channel for free go and attend that class it is going to help you because i i give you the background of the news so it becomes easier for you to understand the news i tell you what you have to note down so it helps you with your notes i give you vocabulary words also during this session so this is what is useful okay and i help we study the most important and important topics um while studying the newspaper okay now newspaper reading one hour so i give you the marked newspaper yes newspaper the hindu is provided on the telegram group of exam ayah. you can pick up the newspaper from there immediately after the class and what you can do is you can go through the uh, passages that i have told you so in the class i'll tell you that okay clat people this is this uh, passage is not relevant uh uh, for current affairs section but this passage can help you with your reading comprehension that is your english or legal aptitude or logical reasoning so read it by yourself so your self reading practice also takes place so uh, this is what you're going to do and you have to complete your notes also you're going to make notes while you're attending the class and afterwards also you can make if something you know one line you couldn't complete or anything of that sort so two hours is more than enough that you give to your the hindu newspaper to your current affairs okay then you have your other slots we have four other slots that are going to be there so this is bare minimum like this is the minimum for a dropper yes we have just five months left august september october november okay or july half of the july you can say and then in december you have your exam so guys please this is the minimum that i want if you have to give 12 hours 14 hours 15 hours to complete your syllabus give give you need to be a successful dropper if you have taken a drop. You need to be a topper. Dropper is a topper. Okay. You can give extra time. You can give two hours extra more to your skills. Develop your skills like that of increasing your reading speed, 
vocabulary, newspaper based vocabulary, revising it, and then current affairs, reading all the editorials minutely, all of this, right? You, you can also watch my legal current affairs series, right? In these two hours, when the video is up, you know, the session is up, you can have these, uh, have this two hour for improving your skills, which are required for solving CLAT. Okay, this also you can do daily routine for a full fledged dropper. So what should be your routine? Now, number one question that you're going to ask me is that these should be uh, study in the morning or uh, a morning, afternoon, evening, or we should study late at night. Now, look, if you can study only at late at night and that is the way that is going uh, that is uh, working for you then obviously i would say study like that but if you can study like, like any time then i would say you should pick up mornings because mornings if you get up early in the morning and then you study you have long times like you have a longer duration to study so you can divide slots really nicely and uh, so yeah that is what i think but whatever works for you here i'm going to give you a suggestion that your routine should be like this look it is very very important as a dropper to have a schedule uh, to have a routine because one of the biggest mistakes that droppers commit that they don't have a routine right because there's no one you don't have to get up early go to the school you're a dropper so you're dependent on yourself you are the one who's your boss and you are not able to become your boss so hey you have to be bossy and if you're not bossy ask your mother father or sibling to be bossy tell them this is the schedule that i have to follow and make sure i follow it right so get up by seven o'clock that should be the last time that you are up once you are up bathe get ready wear whatever you have to wear i would say bathing in the morning is very very important a lot of mothers complain like in my mentorship program there are a lot of students who are droppers and one complaint that mothers used to have was that my kid is not taking a bath so taking bath is important i know you're you're not going out but still take bath okay 8 a.m you are done with your bathing everything okay 8 a.m 15 to 20 minutes journal it is very important that you write down what you want to achieve in life what uh, like motivate yourself have a self-talk if you're worried about something write it down in your journal if you're able to arrive at some solution that's great if not then ask god to make sure that you know everything goes well that is what i do every day i get up at four o'clock in the morning five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve whenever i am going to take a bath write down my write down things in my journal this is my everyday routine and believe me it works for me and the moment i leave it like the days when I don't do it and I'm able to see my mental health, my motivation levels going down. So yeah, so any problem that you're facing that you can write down 10 minutes, you can check out my uh, podcast. So I do, uh, I, I've done a podcast with regard to journaling on Miss Being. I'll leave the link in the description box. Okay, then 10 minutes you can give to your, check your schedule. Now this is very important, you know, this is very, very important. Before you call it a day, मतलब इससे पहले कि आप अपना सब कुछ बंद करो कि यू नो पहले मान लो आज आप पढ़े 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 यू स्टडीड एंड नाउ इट्स टाइम दैट यू गो टू स्लीप ओके यू डन विद योर स्टडीज बिफोर यू क्लोज योर बुक्स पिक अप योर प्लानर प्लानर इज जस्ट अ नोटबुक वेर यू वेर इन यू आर गोइंग टू प्लान एवरीथिंग राइट डाउन वॉट यू हैव टू डू टूमोरो नाउ दिस शुड बी माइक्रो मैनेजमेंट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू राइट डाउन द डेट यू राइट डाउन द डे ओके now you're going to say first thing i have to do this second i have to do this for example you have to read the newspaper right now you have to write down everything attend class attend exam ir class okay making notes reading extra okay everything you're going to write then you're going to write down the topic that you have to study say you have to study indian constitution a particular topic say today you're covering preamble preamble solving questions so you're going to write down you know what when you write down reading newspaper that doesn't work when you tell yourself that reading newspaper okay fine i have to do this this and this that works that works so planning again i've done a podcast with regard to planning you can watch that so this helps this helps if you want then i can take a live class also you can uh, you know answering your questions with regard to planning and journaling if you want that you can comment down below because i need minimum 10 to 15 students then only i'll be able to take a live class okay so this is something that you have to do if one night before you plan for the next day you get up in the morning and you just open your planner and you're good to go you just have to follow it you might ask why planning one day before is important because 
one day before you are somewhere in that zone wherein you know that okay i have to do this 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 because you have studied for the entire day right the next day you forget things so try this out this is going to work it works for me i know it is going to work for you also break down your task into smaller tasks 8:30 am you start with your first slot and then you move on to your slots right so this is how you're going to begin your day journaling and planning and you're going to end your day with planning if you start doing this you're sorted my child how to plan what to plan how much to study right now this is your question that the how do i know that how much i have to study daily what if my speed is slow this is a very good question so i'm going to tell you that you have to divide your preparation into stages okay now what are those stages stage number 1 is that you have to complete the syllabus and your syllabus should be complete 2.5 months before the exam means all of these things you have to do this should be done 2.5 months before the day right so reading and understanding the topics okay notes in the books practice mcqs time management section wise tests this is what is important that you do now this can be done here or here also you can take your time management to stage 2 also but what is mandatory is these three steps you need to have notes for revision you should have practiced enough and you should have read the topics and you should have a good understanding you read you re read the topic for the first time you're not understanding you read it again you read it again but all of this these things all of this should be done 2 month 2.5 months before the exam 2 months तो डन हो जाना चाहिए ठीक है सो वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू डू फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू पॉइंट फाइव मंथ्स टेन स्टेज टू यू गिन टू रिवाइज यू गिन टू रिवाइज एवरी थिंग इन फिफ्टीन डेज एवरी थिंग इन फिफ्टीन डेज इन दिस रिविजन यू गिन टू रीड थ्योरी सो वट एवर यू हैव मार्क्ड अंडरलाइन द पॉइंटर्स यू हैव नोटेड डाउन यू गिन टू रिवाइज दैम हेयर एंड यू गिन टू सॉल्व रैंडम क्वेश्चन यू गिन टू अगेन सॉल्व गुड नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन uh during your revision and then you come to your th stage 3 that is revision your revision goes on this is a plan that is going to follow that you are revising 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 thing that is you are reading the theory again you are practicing questions this is going on and then you have your mock tests you are solving mock tests you are analyzing your mock test you are finding out what is the problem you are not able to handle negative marking time management is the problem i have done detailed videos go and watch clat 2022 last day strategies playlist i'm going to link that playlist in the description box below watch that that is going to help you finding weak topics making them stronger studying them from zero again okay then uh, what are the issues you are facing with attemptation and everything attempting of the paper so if you have 2.5 months with you that time would help you with regard to improving your score and you need if you have 2.5 months that's more than enough even 2 months is enough but you need this you need to come to this stage and then you you know the real thing begins here the real things are going to begin when you start attempting your mock test now it this doesn't mean that you start your mock test here only if you have not completed the syllabus what is the use of attempting mock tests this is not going to motivate you this is going to demotivate you because you have not completed the syllabus you are going to score less so all these stages are equally equally important so you have to plan your you have to plan your months in such a way that 2.5 months before the clat exam your syllabus should be done your syllabus should be done okay now i've done this video syllabus of clat 2023 and 2024 there you will find section wise topics and complete list of of each and every section you know the topics that you have to cover this is very very important please watch this video then important and most expected topics wrong topics topics not to cover so this is one video that you should watch i'll leave the link in the i on the screen and also in the description box below how to prepare for clat 2023 or 2024 section wise strategy so i have given you mind maps this is very very important and different okay then step by step guide for all the five sections books and how to study again watch this video link is going to be in the description box below okay with regard to planning with regard to planning how to plan how to make a timetable best timetable for cracking clat i've shared this video again the link is going to be in the description box these videos are mandatory 
you have to watch these videos and one or two more videos that I'm going to add to a playlist. So there are going to be two playlists in the description box. Watch those playlists. This is very, very important. Rather three playlists. I'm going to give you three playlists. So one is your playlist for how to prepare for CLAT 2023 videos. Okay, then there's a playlist for CLAT 2022 last day's preparation tips videos wherein I'm going to tell you how to handle your negative marking sequence and, and there are going to be preparation videos for CLAT. Okay, prep videos for CLAT. Those videos are also important. So all these three playlists, they are, they are very, very important. You have to watch all of these. Okay, so timetable that you should follow. So if you're starting your schedule in July itself, so I would say start the day you watch this video. Don't waste even a single minute. Okay, so if you're starting in August, say uh, English, you're going to give two hours every day. So one slot is for English. From 1st uh, to 31st August, you're going to uh, do reading competition. You're going to go through the theory. You're going to practice, practice, practice. Then you're going to work on time management. Again, how to study for CLAT video. I have given you the mind back to watch that video in detail. I've talked about it. Then 1st to 5th September, figures of speech. You're going to cover this from YouTube. Then 6th to 20th September, you're going to solving, uh, solve RCs back to back so you so that you are able to solve 5 to 6 RCs uh, within 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, again, in the uh, strategy video for CLAT, I've talked about it. Legal aptitude, you're going to give your one slot to your legal aptitude. So your slot 1 is gone, slot 2 is gone. Now, 1st to 31st August, give to Indian Constitution. I know. Indian constitution is not going to take this much of time but still if you want like you can give the maximum time I also have my own course you can buy that course that is going to help you with the understanding of concept this is a really really good course you can go for that link is in the description box you can check that out 1st to 10th September you can cover contracts 11th to 20th you can cover criminal law 21st to 25th you can cover torts 26th to 30th September family law so by September you will be covering your syllabus Right here, you're going to study the theory, you're going to practice MCQs, all of this you're going to do. Okay, now for current affairs, you're going to give two slots, right? One we have already given, right? And the other one is current affairs backlog, two hours, right? So backlog, 1st to 10th August, I'm giving you 10 days for the starting, uh, you know, magazine. So I hope you know that you have to read magazines for the backlog. Again, watch the strategy video. Right, so May, you're going to cover May 2020 news, then April, then March from 21st to 31st August, then 1st to 5th September, February. Now you're going to cover things in five days only because I hope 30 days are enough to practice that how you have to read and everything. If you want me to do a video, you can comment down below. I'll try to do it. 6th to 10th, you're going to cover the January edition. 11th to 15th, you're going to cover the June edition. And from 16th of September, you're going to make sure that you've covered all of these uh, months, that is July, August and September that you are in. Okay, so that is how you're going to cover your backlogs and you're going to cover all the magazines. I think you are able to see that it, that, that is very much doable. For current affairs, two hour sessions, I've already explained. You have to attend my session. You have to make handwritten notes. You have to read newspaper by yourself also as guided in the session. Right, so this is what you have to do. If we check out our slot, so we have one newspaper slot here. One we have given to English. Right, one we have given to legal legal aptitude, one we have given to current affairs backlog, and we have we still have one slot that we are going to give to logical reasoning as well as maths. So from 1st August till uh, 5th August, you're going to study assumptions, then you're going to study arguments, 11 to 15th August inference, 16 to 20th August conclusion. 21st to 31st you're going to start uh, you're going to practice practice and practice thereafter you're going to cover your maths and data interpretation if you want to know how you have to cover these subjects again i have done a video on strategy how to prepare for each and every subject i've done mind maps and everything so please 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 watch those videos they're going to help you out right if you still have some problem and you want to talk to me you can book a one-on-one -on -one session the link for the session for booking the session is in the description box below you can check that out you can also talk to me for free in the comment section and you can also message me on instagram i'm there by the name at i'm loggery we are also there on telegram by the name loggery you can also ask your problems there you can follow things there we up update you about a lot of things on our instagram on youtube and on instagram uh, on telegram so yeah do subscribe to the channel like this video comment down below how was the video how can i help you i do read your comments so yeah guys that's it logini signing off i'll see you super soon bye and take care